What up guys? Yeah, we have another quarantine beer review coming at you today. And this time we're gonna go with pretty much whatever we can find in the store right now. But I was able to find something a little interesting, and this one was uh Beer Lao. It is a uh, lager beer out of uh Laos, as you'd expect. And uh yeah, it is five percent ABV. It's um as they say, brewed with the finest ingredients. Um I I already have like an assumption in my head what this is gonna be like. I kind of assume it's gonna be like one of those that that same lager you get everywhere in the world. It's just kind of funky. It smells kind of off a little bit. I already had that program in my head. So let's see if I'm right, or let's see if Beer Lao is able to surprise me. So let's crack this sucker open. Sorry about the shifting lights. One of these days we'll get off this setup. As you can see, this is pouring very, very clear, almost like a very clear ginger ale. But, see, if, yeah, it's uh, crystal clear. I don't think that carbonation is going to last very long, but. Let's get into the review, get into the smell. Not as funky as I was as I was thinking. It has a bit of a like a like a lemongrass aroma. It's definitely on the sweeter side. It kind of smells like like a rice, lemongrass kind of grain aroma. It, it has more of a like like a, a cheap Budweiser aroma to it. Like we're like we're almost starting to push like like bush, bush beer a little bit. But there's still a a hint of. Um, Hmm. Maybe maybe like a hint of a a toffiness to it. There's there's that subtle 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 hint of malt. There's a there's a little bit in there. Not a lot. It's not very present, but it's enough. I feel like that's the part that's kind of keeping the um, the funk aroma at bay, and I can appreciate that. So, for the very fact that this is not as just like overwhelmingly terribly skunky as I was expecting it to be, I'm gonna recommend it on Aroma. Now, let's get into the taste. It is not your everyday lager that you get everywhere. These subtle hints, um, you get a similar kind of aftertaste going on. But um, the first sip I had was very clean, very just just cold, crisp, whatever. It's something that you'd want to drink if you're in Laos or just uh, like a you know a tropical, always humid, always hot country. So. I could see this being like an excellent beer just wanted just to drink because it's so hot and water doesn't really quench your thirst as you might want. But it has there is a bit of like like a malty a, a, a fine subtle maltiness to it. Like like It does taste like probably a corn or rice is the main um, uh, product that they're distilling with, or that they're brewing with. It does taste like the flavor is getting pulled from that, but there is a subtle toastedness to that. Like uh, maybe you made some rice and you uh, toasted it a little bit, or uh, maybe there's even a little bit of like sesame seed kind of toasted 
in it. There might even be a little... There is, actually, now that I'm thinking of it, It almost seems like there's a bit of like a sesame seed aroma to it. I don't know if they necessarily if they actually make it with that. I mean, they probably don't. But there is something in there that reminds me of that. There was a time, you know, I like making stovetop popcorn, and I ran out of oil to make the popcorn. But and the only thing I had in the uh, in the, the pantry was like a sesame seed oil so I used that and it was actually really pretty interesting it's pretty good you still get the same kind of regular popcorn but there's there's like that bit of, of nutty like essence added to the popcorn because you, you know that was the kind of fat you use for popping it has a bit of that like sesame seed essence like but still, you can tell that it is, um, uh, a, it still has that taste of like a widely produced grain beer. But I actually like this a lot more than a lot of those just, you're kind of like, number one beer in such and such country. They all kind of taste generally the same. This one, I, it tastes a little different. It has a, it's, there is, there's a more robust taste to it. It's subtle. It's not like over, like overwhelmingly robust, but there's enough, mm, um, on the, the, the bottom end. It's not super floral as some of them are. This has more of that, that toastiness on the end. So it kind of rounds out the, the bottom aspect of the, uh, um, of the taste. If you're, I was kind of looking at it as almost like a sound wave, you know, up, super, super light and floral, down, deep bass, um, more uh, robust flavor. So yeah, this has a little more of that going on. And I'm actually going to recommend it for taste. I'm not saying it's like the greatest tasting beer in the world, but it is very much outperforming how I thought it would be. It is definitely, it definitely outkicked its coverage for, you know trying to throw out whatever sports turn back in right now. So I think it's uh, not too bad. This does seem like a beer that you get, you get, it's gonna, you drink a couple and you're definitely gonna get like the, uh, the, the rumbling in the stomach and, and um, those funky beer belches. That de definitely seems like the kind of beer that you're gonna do it with, so. But I think this would be a good beer with some just spicy food. It has that, that kind of palate that lets the spice be just right there um, without masking it and it, it, the beer still has enough taste to kind of complement it so I dig that next category is value for price and uh, I mean it's a hair more expensive than your standard regular blogger um, I mean you're importing it from Laos I don't know um, you know it's basically whatever your You know, it's, it's kind of like if, if you were to buy um, like a Sapporo or something, some kind of like a, most Asian Japanese beers, that's eh, about what this costs. So I, I think it's fair. They're not like price gouging you for what they're, you know, it's running. So, and you don't get a lot of the, the, the mass import beers or mass produced beers in Asia. The good old brown bottle, usually it's green. And so I, I fully support the brown bottle for light retention. Especially for one a beer like this coming over to the States, you don't know how long this beer has been sitting on the shelf. Because I don't know a lot of people that are reaching for a beer Lao in the States. So this could have been sitting there for ages. So you want to protect it, it from the light as long as you can for beers like this. Um, other beers, like... With the clear bottles, usually the clearer bottles, they, they sell quicker, so it's not as much of an issue. But yeah, for something like this, Brown's the way to go. But um, price is fair, so sure, I'll, I'll recommend a value price. It's not anything um, out, of the, out of the world. Uh, next category is distinction. How distinct is it? And it's, you know... Overall, it's, uh, it's kind of, it's like a dinner beer. Or, you know, you, you, you just ordered some takeout. You ordered some Chinese food, you wanted some takeout, and um, you wanted 
something to, to drink with it that's not gonna just like oh, take over your meal. You know, you drink an IPA with some of that stuff. That the IPA cancels out everything you eat and it takes over. It, it hijacks your meal. This is not gonna hijack your dinner, your dining experience. It's gonna let the food sit. I mean, food taste go through, which is that's kind of I guess what you're going for with something like this. But at the same time, it doesn't really super stand out. There's some elements that are a little different, but it's not like, yeah, not out of this world, uh, super uh, unique. So I'm gonna give it a half for that. So um, next category is drinkability, and I think it, it drinks very well. It is a beer that you probably want to drink cold. I'm guessing if once it starts to warm, get warm, get room temperature, it's gonna lose some of that kind of crisp impact that um, it has and so as long as you drink it cold this is one of those beers that yeah just drink it as cold as you can it's gonna be really refreshing um, so as long as you do it like that um, I am gonna recommend it on uh, drinkability really easy to drink all that good stuff and last category is what I buy it again and pff, honestly I haven't I mean I'm glad I tried it I'm glad I can say I've had it but there's really I could grab it, um, but if I'm, like, the only time I'd probably really get it is if I was in a restaurant and I wanted something to go with the food I'm having, but I don't know if I've ever actually seen a beer Lao at a restaurant. Of course, granted, I haven't gone into many Laos style restaurants. Um, maybe if I was in like a New York uh, or Chicago or something, they might have something, with a few more options or like, you know, San Francisco or something. But. I probably won't be buying it again, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's just, I don't know, it's not going to be the first thing I, I go for, so, but, I, you know, I'm going to give it a half, I feel like it's it's not fair to say I'll never get it again, because I'm not anti this beer, it's not a, like the worst thing in the world, I think it's, it's fine for what it is, so, actually, I'm going to give it a half for that, I have no problems getting it, getting it again, realistically, I probably won't, but I'm not anti drinking it again. So that's the review of Beer Lao. It is imported. They want you to know that. It's got to stand out from all the craft beers. Um, they do have uh, some slight blurbs on the back. It is, they say Beer Lao is a premium Asian beer brewed in the heartland of Laos using unique local ingredients of Laos. Uh, polished rice and natural fresh water. So okay, yeah, it is rice. You definitely get that taste. It, it definitely tastes like, like, like a rice lager. Um, and natural fresh water. I hope it's. I don't know. Um, yeah, and they tell you the ingredients: rice, water, malted barley, yeast, hops. So yeah, there you go. Anyways, that is the review. Like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Try to get as many uh, new beers as I can. Who knows? They might get. A, they shut down the liquor places. We're gonna have to like start doing like coffee reviews or. You know, something to keep ourselves sane. If uh, you have any ideas, suggestions, whatever, let me know in the comments. And I'll see what I can do. Uh, things might get a whole lot worse before it gets better. So, we'll see. Um, anyways, for myself and for Beer Lao, take it easy.